75th received an original, rigid and durable body, while resistant to corrosion even without galvanization. Its interior is striking in style, many versions are trimmed with light leather, which goes well with wooden inserts. For better sound insulation, glass is one and a half times thicker than usual. However, due to the massive seats, the interior is not very spacious, and the view is limited to the A-pillars and the high trunk. As a rule, the cars encountered are richly equipped, four to six airbags, ABS, traction control, two or four power windows, parking sensors, cabin filter. There are cars with a multifunctional screen and standard navigation, and there are cars without air conditioning, these are specimens imported from Finland. Of the equipment, only the door lock drive, which is controlled by the electronic unit, can fail. The castle is not reparable and needs to be replaced. Engine. All Rover 75 petrol engines are English, while the inline 2.0 liter diesel, on the contrary, is German, known as the M47R. Of the entire range of power units on our roads, 2.0 and 2.5 liter V-shaped sixes, 24V, 150 horsepower and 24B, 177 horsepower, are more common. The 1.8 liter inline engine, 16V, 120 horsepower, is rather weak for this large car, and it is less common, in the presence of a turbocharged version of 1.8 liter, 16V, 150 horsepower, is not known even for service providers. Very rare in diesel equipment. The most experienced of the Rover 75 did not run even 200,000 kilometers, they are far from overhaul. But many of them have been in serious repair due to overheating. This unpleasant feature of all Rover 75 gasoline engines is explained by the short-lived electric drive of the radiator blower system. Its sophisticated fan fails every three to four years, and inattentive drivers overheat the motor. Another weak point is the plastic camshaft plugs. When using two viscous oil in winter, they may be squeezed out, as a result of which the pressure in the lubrication system drops and the engine that has not been stopped in time fails. V6 engines are distinguished by a complex electronic control system, which, among other things, is responsible for engine cooling. The system is inertial and the control device responds to temperature changes with a delay. This can cause the engine to overheat. Therefore, experts recommend checking the level of antifreeze once a week. The timing of gasoline engines is driven by belts, which are replaced every 80,000 kilometers along with rollers. The gasoline filter is replaced after 100,000 kilometers, by 170 to 180,000 kilometers the fuel pump fails. Candles are used only with platinum coating, the manufacturer gives them 100,000 kilometers of life, in domestic conditions they serve up to 70,000 kilometers. Repair and maintenance of rover power units is recommended to be carried out at branded service stations, which are few in Ukraine. After all, these cars have many features. In addition, they need the so-called dealer tester, T4. Transmission. The Rover 75 is front-wheel drive, was equipped with both a 5-speed manual gearbox of English production and a 5-speed adaptive Japanese automatic Jacko. And if the, the mechanics works well, then automatic transmissions until 2001 onwards. Had trouble shifting into reverse gear. After modernization, automatic transmissions began to serve up to 200,000 kilometers, but only if they were filled with special oil, which is distributed through branded service stations. Repair of automatic transmission pulls for 4,000 UAH, not counting spare parts. A new one costs UAH 18,287, a restored one costs UAH 17,000. Clutch repair is expensive, which is required by 100,000 kilometers. When replacing the disc and basket, it is necessary to change the hydraulic drive cylinders, the main and working ones, made integral with the release bearing. Suspension. The running gear of this model combines high smoothness of the course and comfort on roughnesses with excellent tenacity in turns. Both suspensions are mounted on subframes, front, McPherson type, rear, independent, with three long levers for each wheel. It is in the length of the levers that it differs from the Troika of BMW. The chassis requires the attention of mechanics every 50 to 70,000 kilometers. At this figure, stabilizer struts and bushings, front shock absorbers and front levers are usually replaced, in which the only solid block and non-removable ball bearings wear out. Closer to 80,000 kilometers, you can expect a dull ringing when turning the steering wheel. This is a signal to replace the strut support bearing due to jamming of which the suspension spring cannot be ruled out, which can lead to an accident. 
Silent blocks of the rear suspension serve up to 120,000 km, shock absorbers, up to 80,000 km. Steering The steering wheel of the Rover 75 is light, but with good feedback. After every 50 to 70,000 km, you can expect problems from the steering. By this time, the tie rod ends usually wear out. It is prescribed to change the drive belt of attachments for 80,000, preferably together with the rollers. The power steering pump serves up to 150,000 km, after which it is replaced with a new one. The same picture with the rack and pinion steering mechanism, a resource of 150,000 km and officially recognized unsuitability for repair. Brake System An effective brake system with four discs does not cause a headache if you change the pads in time, the front pads after 20 to 30,000 km, the rear pads after 70,000 km. Electrical Equipment Rover 75 electrical equipment is reliable largely due to the fact that all critical wiring contacts are covered with precious metal. The weak point is the airbag sensors under the front seats. If the seats are often moved, the tightness of the wiring connection is broken, and the airbag warning lamp lights up on the dashboard. Contacts need to buy new ones. The generator and starter work without problems up to 150 to 200,000 kilometers, after which they are subject to resuscitation. Show business functionaries, well-known journalists, representatives of the creative elite and businessmen who pay great attention to their image drive this car. Buying a Rover 75 is one of the ways to join the circle of the elite. But keep in mind, to drive such a car, it is not enough to be known as an esthete and original, you need to earn good money.